In this month's news, Susvimo gets the FDA nod for diabetic retinopathy because why jab monthly when you can drip it slow and steady? A new flying baby scan might help catch early childhood glaucoma. No anesthesia, just lift, aim, and click. And West Virginia says yes to lasers, making it lucky number 13 in the Optometric Scope Expansion Club. All that and more on SiteBite News, where eye care meets headlines with 2020 flair. Turns out the world's still squinting at progress when it comes to basic eye care. A new study says just 65.5% of people who need glasses actually have them, and with the right prescription. That's called effective refractive error coverage, and it's barely budged since 2010. That's right, in 2025, millions still can't get the world's simplest vision fix. The WHO had high hopes, a 40-point jump by 2030, but unless things sharpen up fast, that goal might stay as blurry as life without specs. On the glaucoma front, some tiny patients just got a big break. A new study out of India is putting swept source AS OCT in the spotlight, showing it might help detect early childhood glaucoma without general anesthesia. All you need is one quick scan and a steady pair of arms. Enter the flying baby technique, literally holding infants up to the scanner just long enough to catch a clear view of the anterior segment. If the tribecular meshwork is MIA on the scan, that's a strong sign glaucoma might be in play. Of course, flying babies require skilled staff, and SSAS OCT machines aren't exactly standard issue yet. But if future studies confirm this, clinicians could get a safe in-office tool to catch glaucoma early, and maybe even before the next diaper change. Big news in the retinal world, the FDA gave a thumbs up to Sysvimo, Genetech's port delivery system for diabetic retinopathy. Forget monthly injections, Sysvimo's tiny implant slowly delivers medicine over time, like a retinal drip coffee. That's right, nearly 10 million Americans suffering from DR can now look forward to preserving vision with just one treatment every nine months. With this latest approval, Sysvimo isn't just changing treatment schedules, it's poised to reshape the future of DR care, one refill at a time. And lastly, West Virginia is seeing the light, laser light that is. With Senate Bill 565, the state just became the 13th in the U.S. to greenlight optometric laser procedures. That means ODs can now handle minor laser treatments in office, saving patients in rural areas a long haul to care. The new law kicks in July 9, and it's more than a scope creep, it's a scope leap. The WVAOP calls it a win for public health. We call it another notch in the laser belt for optometry's expanding role. I'm Diana Chung, and that's a wrap for this edition of SideBite News. Stay sharp, stay focused, and stay in the loop with more eye-popping updates on Mice TV. Got a juicy story or a hot take? Drop us a comment below.